Welcome to Singularity. We help you do it better, smarter, and faster. I'm Mario. And I'm Nina. And today we're going to talk about guest Wi-Fi. Secure guest Wi-Fi. That's right. Nowadays, guest Wi-Fi is as common as sugar and salt on the table. And if you don't have it, you look cheap. I even choose to go places or refuse to go places based on whether they have guest Wi-Fi access. To me, every restaurant should have it. If you're a coffee shop, you should have it. If you want people to stay at your location for any period of time, you need to have secure yeah. guest Wi-Fi. If you have a waiting room, yes. you should have it. Every doctor's office should have one. Please, please, my doctor, if you're watching this. Put right. in secure guest Wi-Fi. At the very least, uh, have it set up in your conference room. That way, when your vendors and clients come in, they can connect. If you're a coffee shop and you're competing with Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts, and they have Wi-Fi, to, to compete so that people have the option of choosing you, you at least need to have those amenities. Absolutely. And they're inexpensive. Let's just say you get one of those evil movie hackers that parks next to your shop and then uses your guest Wi-Fi to hack into the Pentagon. It'll get traced to your IP address and oh my God, what'll possibly happen? Right now for your business or home, uh, it's very easy to set up guest Wi-Fi. First of all, you just need a brand new router. You set up two networks on the, on the brand new router. One, your main business network. This is for your employees only the password only gets out to your employees. Next, you set up the guest network. Here's three common setups between your cable modem and your Wi-Fi routers. Setup one, this is the easiest. You just have a cable modem connected to a brand new router. With this one router, you can provide for both your guests and your business in one package. Setup two, your cable company might have already given you a router with Wi-Fi. In this case, here's how you should set it up. This time, you can use your snazzy new router of all the speed for your everyday work computers. And then, give the cable company Wi-Fi to your guests. It's okay, because your new router has a built-in firewall which will keep you and all your business computers safe from any Wi-Fi going on on the guest side. And here's setup three. Wi-Fi has been around for a little while now. So I'm betting you have an old router lying around. The problem with your cable router and your office router is that they're usually in the back of the building. If you need to give guest Wi-Fi to people up front, you can dust off an old router and, bring it and mount it closer to your waiting room. Again, your new router's firewall will block any traffic coming from the guests. Make sure that you have, on the guest network only, you have wireless isolation on and no access to the business network. Inside your router setup screen, this is the setting you should be looking for. That's the one that's going to keep your business safe from your guests. That way you have two levels of protection. One, all your guests can't accidentally or sneakily log into your business network and with wireless isolation they can't sneak into each other's devices either. If you do feel that you need a guest password, please, 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 for the love of me and others like me who basically function on Wi-Fi on a minute-by-minute -minute basis, have the username and password put in obvious places where I can see it so it's easy to log in and a I can continue doing sign. work while I'm waiting to speak to behind whoever I Behind the to register to. or behind the receptionist desk. Client calls. Yeah. Go, right. go get it. Be right back. Always working.